Hey guys, Davey here from phonebluff.com. In this video, we're doing a speed comparison test between the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, this is the unlocked HSPA Plus version, against the HC One X, this is the Sprint Evo 4G LTE variant. Um, I've done a comparison test, or speed comparison test, between the Galaxy Nexus and the HC One S, which is pretty much a little brother of this guy, but using the same processor. And uh, the HC One S did win, but this time around, I'm gonna be using Jelly Bean on this Galaxy Nexus, so it's gonna be a little bit different. So let's go ahead and test it against the Big Brother and see what it could do. We'll go ahead and start with the boot up test. So we're gonna press power at the same time on both these guys. So one, two, three. Hold it for a couple of seconds and uh, let go. Now I don't have fast boot enabled on the HC One X, so keep that in mind. Um, if I did enable fast boot, it'd probably load up maybe uh, four times as fast. So We'll see which one loads up first here and you know how close it is and then you know take into that into consideration when uh, you enable fast boot. So both phones are going to be running on the same Wi-Fi network. I cleared out browsing history on both phones so when we do the browser test it'll be nice and even. Um, this guy's running the 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4. This guy's running the 1.2 gigahertz dual core TI OMAP 4460. So obviously this guy loaded up first as far as the boot up time. You can see it's already ready, I can unlock it and you know I'm at my home screen. As you can see I have nothing else on my home screen, just this one screen of applications and I have the same exact screen on the HT One X so it's going to be nice and even there. Are there. Let's wait for this guy to finish loading up. Unlock, you can see it's still loading so it makes a huge difference uh, enabling fast boot. I mean I don't know why the regular boot up takes so long on the HT One X but when you enable fast boot it's like literally four times faster. I pretty much think it would beat out the Galaxy Nexus 2 because it, it's honestly like maybe 10 seconds. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and start our first application speed test which is Google Earth. So let's go ahead and hit Earth on both these guys. Looks like the HC One X has a slight advantage but pretty much going at the same rate right now. Um, we're going to see which one uh, gives us the uh, Vegas view first. So you can see this is already loading up the buildings. If I were to zoom in on here, let's actually zoom in on a certain building. So let's zoom in on, actually let me make sure 3D buildings is on. Yeah, it is. All right, so we'll load up. We'll do the win. So the win Encore Hotel. Tap it. And you can see actually the Galaxy Nexus responded a little bit faster, but let's see how smooth each one is. So far it looks smoother on the Galaxy Nexus, surprisingly. Looks a little bit choppy on the uh, HC One X compared to the Galaxy Nexus. Maybe that's due to Jelly Bean's optimizations because I know that the hardware in here is actually better than it is on the Galaxy Nexus. So somewhat surprising to see. Alright, so that's good enough of a test right there. We'll go ahead and hit home. I'm not going to close out the applications because we're they're both running Android so uh, it's going to be nice and even. I should probably turn off this live wallpaper really quick. Didn't even notice that, so let's go ahead and just tap on this. All right, let's go to the next application, which is dictionary. So one, two, three. So it loaded up a little bit faster on the HC One X, but I got a little pop up. So we'll go ahead and go to the next one to Flickster, so we get a you know a clear result. So definitely faster on the One X here. Let's go ahead and hit home and let's open up the Play Store. Hopefully this will give us a uh, better idea because I keep getting pop-ups and stuff on the applications. This time the Galaxy Nexus actually loaded up so the Google app loaded up faster again on the Galaxy Nexus. Let's go ahead and up, open up the calculator. So one, two, three. Opened up much faster on the HC One X. Let's go ahead and open up Maps. Load up much faster on the HC One X. Let's go ahead and hit home. And uh, let's go ahead and open up the cameras at the same time. See which one loads up the uh, camera first. So one, two, three. This guy looked like it was going to go faster, but the HC One X caught up and loaded up the uh, viewfinder much quicker. Let's go ahead and uh, run a Quadrant Benchmark test now. Just so we get a, uh, you know, benchmark result. So hit run and I'll just skip to the results for you guys so you guys don't have to watch this whole thing. Alright, so both of these guys are done. Let's hit yes. And the score we got on the Galaxy Nexus was 
a 2188, so 2188. And on the HT1X, we got, you know, more than double that, 4,893. So, um, you know, the software doesn't really make a difference here. Uh, the Quadrant Benchmark really tests the hardware, and the hardware is far superior on the HTC One X than it is on the Galaxy Nexus. So let's go ahead and back out of here. And uh, now we'll go to the browser and see how, you know, which browser is actually faster. So we'll load up phonebuff.com first. All right, so I loaded it up. One, two, three. Showing the content first on the Galaxy Nexus. And there you go. The Galaxy Nexus is now done. HC One X is actually still going, but looks like it was mostly done for the most part. I mean, I don't know what it was loading up in the background. Uh, let's go ahead and do a pinch to zoom test. So you can see super smooth on the HC One X. Do the same thing on the Galaxy Nexus. And uh, maybe even more so smooth on the Galaxy Nexus. So that's uh, Jelly Bean's... Uh, Project Butter right there. So let's go ahead and open up this app or this uh, article. Load it up first here. I mean, I saw the picture first. Uh, let's go ahead and go to another website. Let's go to NFL.com. All right, one, two, three. Load it up here first. I can actually scroll down. This one's really laggy, I don't know. I'm, usually it goes a little bit faster than that. But let's go ahead and go to the desktop version. One, two, three. And it uh, looks like the content is more so loaded on here. Yep, this one's definitely loading up faster. Even though the status bar looked like it finished first on here, um, you see this guy's a step ahead of sort of loading up the pictures and whatnot. So um, overall, I mean, with the, the results pretty clear. The HT One X is faster. However, Jelly Bean did make a difference here. I mean, uh, Google Earth seemed to load a little bit better. The Play Store opened up a little faster. So Jelly Bean did make a difference. Uh, but you know, the hardware on the One X is still not going to be rivaled with from compared to the hardware on the Galaxy Nexus. Once this guy gets Jelly Bean, you know, I expect this guy to uh, really beat out the Galaxy Nexus even more so. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.